sometimes we come across error global shared memory error when especially while importing uh, data from any other data source using ssms with import export wizard we may get an error like this the error says clearly could not open global shared memory what is this yes remember our ssms tool needs certain memory right there are two types of memory one is local user memory other one global shared memory okay two memories global shared memory will be applicable and shared by all users who can use the tool for example in my laptop in my computer let's understand a simple way in my laptop assume there are three users or in your company's odc operational data center say there are three users in a particular uh, say network or say there are some 10 or multiple users all users can have in that particular computer or workstation all users can access this common memory called global shared memory other one local user memory which is accessible only for the currently logged in session especially this is required if you are working with thin clients like ibm thin clients or any other kind of thin client device wherein a uh, one workstation that can be used by multiple users at the same time by using this thin client device what thin client device will do let me show you uh, let me quickly show you what a thin client means just to get some idea okay I will say IBM thin client. Okay, just wait. Just to get some idea, I uh, will just take the image. This one. For example, yeah, this is a called uh, Lenovo thin, st thin station or thin client, etc. What it does? See here, you got different ports, right? These ports are there, right? I am not promoting any Amazon link, okay? No, 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 no. I am not doing any such kind of promotion. I'm just giving an example. I never use this device. I use different companies device, not Lenovo, okay? Different company device. So I'm not promoting this product. No, please, please understand that. We are only concentrating on the image, not on the brand. Now, here you see different, different uh, jocks or jacks or whatever. This one. One, two, three, four. So this device can have four different monitors. Okay, that's a concept. I mean, we call it as thin station or workstation or thin client we call. I still remember 10 years back, we used to use IBM thin clients. Now a lot of nice companies anyway, that's different. So one workstation and we used to work, you know, in a small operational data center we used to work with four different monitors so one cpu in simple terms in simple language one cabinet okay one cabinet four monitors four users four user accounts but what about the tool one tool right one tool so four users four local memory user memory but on a global shared memory now for this import export it uses something called in ssms it uses ssis sql server integration services right so that's why that's why whenever we launch ssms make sure we log in as administrator 2019 17 anything run as administrator so that so that in addition to my local user memory i have access to global shared memory also and happily perform import export activities so if your interviewer asks you what kind of memory is being used by management studio or any interviewers accessing this video 
please see if we can post this kind of questions to your folks okay kind of memory in ssms or how it is useful we got that information today for more such interview questions you can always reach us we have separate interview based training especially on the core competencies at our sqlschool.com just in case in case if anyone planning for uh, interview preparation either to attend the interview or to take the interview either of them yes we'll enjoy it okay always you see the uh, interview courses a six hours course saturday sunday just in case wherein we will understand of the books i must say of the google truly speaking okay of course google mata knows everything but we may not have time to search the entire i don't know lakhs and crores of terabytes of data in google for each technology so we have a nice interview based training wherein we'll understand simple straightforward tidbits and tricks to work with the tool so to address this error back to the point to address this error again yes we are supposed to go to ssms run as administrator and then perform the regular import activity like this right click database tasks and import export whatever once you log in as administrator you see on top on top you would see administrator means you have complete control on the global accessible memory so source can be anything and destination can be anything else right and we can happily perform the relevant operation with this we we'll stop for now a small video to help us how to resolve the global shared memory activity and in this process i was mentioning this import export wizard uses ssis sql server integration services this we'll stop for now and do reach me for doubts and clarifications we at sqr school provide trainings projects and complete friendly hand to hand support on microsoft technologies you see on the screen whereas other technologies microsoft technologies i would be the caretaker i'm sai fanindra tholeti from sqr school and we have few small pool of highly talented and techy loving trainers for other technologies who have been with us and growing with us for more than a decade you may contact us for the trainings on the technology or you may also contact us exclusively for exclusively for interview training on any of the above technology wish you all the very best thank you so much have a nice time thank you